Good morning. I'm Cindy Shea. I'm director of the sustainability program at UNC Chapel Hill. And this morning, it's my pleasure to introduce David Orr, senior advisor to the president and professor at Oakland College. Many of you already know David. He has been writing about sustainability in higher education and the importance of ecological literacy for decades. He's always at the forefront, leading us down uncharted pathways. He consistently leads with big ideas about climate change, student engagement, new economic development models. And what distinguishes David is that he's able to connect these big ideas to power and to money. He makes things happen. David was a champion of one of the greenest buildings on a university campus in the United States, the Adam Joseph Lewis Center. And have you been there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Not yet. This building is ambitious, to say the least, producing its own energy, treating its own wastewater, engaging students and occupants in operating the building. It's a living laboratory for sustainability for students in one of the best environmental studies programs in the country. It's also one of the most popular places on campus for people from all departments to convene. It's such a nice space. It's a test bed for ecological problem solving. Did everything work right on day one at the building? Does everything work right on day one at any building? and especially one that has so many innovative features? No, but those problems have been fixed. Today, the building uses about 25,000 KBTU, 25,000 BTUs per square foot per year. For those of you who are energy managers, you know what an amazingly low level of energy consumption that is. At the North Carolina Botanical Garden, Lead Platinum Education Center, were about almost twice that, not quite, and that's our best performing building on campus. So the Adam Joseph Lewis Center has been recognized as one of the greenest buildings in the country by the U.S. Department of Energy and by the U.S. Green Building Council. It has demonstrated a number of new technologies well before other people were thinking about them. When things get tough, like making that building perform as intended. That's where David shines and shows his mettle. He is resilient, persistent, and full of hope. As he says, hope is a verb that requires hard work. Many new ideas and companies have emerged from this project. One of them is the Lucid Design Group. Many of you are familiar with Lucid. It has an enterprise uh, level energy management software and display um, that is used now in energy competitions around the country to incentivize, incentivize good behaviors and practices. David's also working beyond the university to promote full spectrum sustainable economic development in the town of Oberlin. The Oberlin project brings the heads, hearts, and hands of multiple branches of the university to revitalize and imagine a prosperous, carbon neutral community with a fair and inclusive economy. The 13 acre redevelopment project is one of 18 Clinton climate initiative, climate positive projects. In addition to this downtown development, the project includes a 20,000 acre green belt for agriculture, forestry, biofuels, and carbon sequestration. And David knows where to find good talent to assist him in his efforts. Sean Hayes, a graduate of Appalachian <coughs> State University, now manages the Oberlin Project. <clears throat> Dr. Orr is the recipient of multiple honorary degrees a trustee at the Rocky Mountain Institute, as well as many other organizations, 
and foundations. He is a resident scholar at a number of fortunate universities and a speaker at hundreds of more universities around the world. Yet in his goal to preserve a sustainable planet, he remains humble, one of the key aspects of a true leader, as we heard about from one of the student scholars. He loves to partner with and listen to good ideas from everybody. One of David's key goals is the establishment of a fair, decent, prosperous, resilient, durable global society. These are not mere words, they're his creed. He believes that education and collaboration are the keys to creating a world that will save us. As he says, the world does not need more successful people. It needs people of moral courage, willing to join the fight to make the world habitable and humane. Please join me in welcoming the Paul Sears Distinguished Professor of Environmental Studies and Politics at Oberlin College, James Marsh Professor at the University of Vermont, and Senior Advisor to the President of Oberlin College, David Orr.